Let's talk about this cool device. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And we are here today to talk about the ADL-1 one-time pad printer. That's what, that's what this thing is. So uh, if you don't know what a one-time pad is, uh, we'll do a different video on that and that'll be super helpful. You should know what one-time pads are. Super helpful for Minuteman type stuff and encoding and that's a whole different, different video. Like I said, we'll, we'll do that separately. Now, this video specifically here is about the one-time pad printer uh, from Partisan Labs. This is not something that I've designed and made. This is someone else's product that uh, I now want to offer for sale on my website because I believe in it and I think it's cool. I try not to just sell anything and everything. I only want to sell stuff that I like or I use or I design, uh, which naturally means I like it and I use it. Uh, but in this case, this is something that I have and I've used and I really, really like it. And so I reached out to Eric at Partisan Labs to see if you know he wanted to have some resellers and he did. So we're gonna offer these on the website. So here's, uh, I'm gonna do a breakdown of it. We're gonna go on the tabletop. I'll show you how it works, what it does. Again, if you're not familiar with one-time pads, we'll have a separate video on that. You should be familiar with one-time pads. And even if you don't get a super handy, super helpful device like this, you should still be using one-time pads. So let's go to the tabletop and we'll show it. So this is the ADL one-time printer from Partisan Labs. It comes in this cool Pelican-like case here. Uh, just two little pull-up tabs there to open it up, okay? Inside, real, real simple, pretty idiot-proof, pretty simple to use. There are instructions here printed on the back, which is cool. Simple power button. First of all, this thing is powered with a C... 1850s, 18650s. Now, uh, to get this cap off, this is where the battery is, okay? You do have to squeeze this. It is a little bit uh, tight when you first get it and takes a little bit of work to do. So we just squeeze this on the sides, squeezing it this way, okay? And that cap comes off, okay? In there, you're gonna find a little battery pack with, and I have two 18650s in there. It does not come with batteries. So you do need to either supply your own or buy your own. When you do get batteries, I would highly recommend not getting ones, like on a traditional battery, right? They have that top little bump. Uh, so if you look in here, right? These are just flat on both sides. That's what I would suggest you getting. Uh, I do have ones like the Surefire 18650s. They have that little top bump on them and it makes it just a little bit harder to get, to get in and out. So put your batteries in there, slide that into the compartment here. Once you get the wires out of the way and that's it, that's the battery compartment. As you can see here, it's got those two uh, little ridges there. And that's simple little battery uh, compartment case, okay? Again, you gotta squeeze it to put it back in which is, there we go, easy peasy, okay? Uh, here, this is just hold your extra roll of paper. Um, that's super simple. This is just basic like receipt paper, right? Thermal paper is what we're looking at here. On button, and it's gonna turn on. Now, you really only got a couple buttons here, so it's pretty hard to screw up. Uh, you can print a one-time pad. If you can see that light right there, okay? You can print a pad and a codex. Uh, or you can print the instructions. This big button right here lets you cycle between all three of those, okay? Uh, over here, you're just selecting how many digits or how long your pad is. So you can select 250, 500, or 1,000. I primarily only use 250. Um, there's some reasons for that regarding uh, how you should use one-time pads and whatever, but if for whatever reason you wanna print 500 or 1,000, you can do that, okay? And that's how many, how many characters if you're familiar with one-time pads. Again, if not, we'll do a video on one-time pads. And that's really, really it. So once you've selected how many digits you want and, and what kind of pad you want, you can push this button, which means, hey, make it happen. Once it's ready, you're just gonna print the print button. And that's it. It has printed you out a one-time pad. Now the thing I also like about this is that if I want a pad with the codex, I can print that sucker out. And it's gonna print me out the pad with the, the codex, right? So the turning the letters into numbers portion on the bottom. So I think that that is super helpful, super cool. 
Now, as far as, you know, how are these numbers generated, right? What's the randomness of it? First of all, the numbers are automatically erased after a couple minutes, right? Or anytime I change anything, right? And I re-push, press this button here, it's gonna auto erase those numbers and these numbers are never coming out again, right? So when you're printing however many copies you want, you need to make sure to print them all at the same time uh, because otherwise that's gone. You're never gonna see those numbers again. Now, when I asked uh, Eric over at Partisan Labs, hey, how is, it, how is it generating these numbers? I'm gonna read you exactly what he said to me because some of you might understand this better than I did. The pads are created by pulling entropy from continuously seeded Ketchik hash. I pull 16K uh, bits out of a Ketchik hash and then perform a SHA512 on that buffer to get the digits for the pads. Repeat as necessary. Source code that reads from the hardware RNG on the chip and feed into a Ketchik KKAC hashing function attached. Hope that helps. So I sent that to my buddy and I said, hey, wh what does this mean? And from, from our research and from what I can tell, uh, it means they're about as randomly generated as you can possibly get, is, is from what I understand from that. So it is very secure as far as being able to generate random numbers. Now, no computer can be truly random. That being said, this is practically random, right? Which means it might as well be 100% random. It's as close as you can get to it. And it's, it's such a small distinction from true randomness that on a practical basis, it won't matter. It, it's still random enough when, you know, like 99.8% random or whatever. So I, like I said, I'm a huge fan of this system. Huge fan of this little handy machine. I love that it is battery powered and portable so that you can bring it to all your favorite parties and exchange one-time pads. I think that makes it extremely useful. I love that it's self-contained. And again, if you got a crew of people and you need to print off identical one-time pads for each other, this, as far as I've been able to determine, is the best way to do it because it does not involve interacting with a computer system of any kind that could possibly transmit that signal somewhere else, right? Even if you were to randomly roll dice, uh, you know, a five, 10 sided dice to get 250 characters and hand write that all down and you wanted to make 10 copies of those, you would still either have to go to a copier uh, or type them on your computer and then print them or do something that interacts with something that could potentially compromise your numbers. I love this because it's self contained and it's so small and portable and I can bring it anywhere, right? I can throw this in a bag. Uh, we can go out to a class or whatever and then I need to issue uh, one-time pads to my radio handlers, right? Or my RTOs and I can do that. I can just print out three or four pads, you know, boot, like different kinds and then three or four copies of each. Right now, boom, everybody's got a one-time pad and we can roll. So I really, really, really like the capability of this. I think it's super cool. The only reason I'm offering it on my website is because I think you should own one and I think it'll make your life easier. So I hope you find this helpful. I hope that this product finds its way into your use and I hope that you start using more one-time pads. Do brave deeds and endure.